Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Sackle Lombard, AK Magnum 5 here, and yes, once again, I have another AT&T cordless telephone here. This is the 4300. Two channels selectable from handset. As you can clearly see, it looks similar to the 4200. This is the original box to it, of course. Looks like it's the same on this side, unless... Okay, no. Okay. There's the top of the box and the bottom of the box, which is nothing much. And over here is the handset itself. Well, the whole telephone base itself. There's the ringer switch. Back here would be the tone and pause switch. Anything on this side? Nope. Under here? Nope. Show the bottom of it. Of course, this is if you want to hang this up to a wall. Here's the date June 15th, 1991. So, this phone is almost 29 years old. So, let's check out the handset itself. Here's the handset. As you can clearly see, it's almost similar to the 4200. Also almost similar to the 4600 as well. This is all the buttons. Now let's test redial. Okay. Redial works. Now the thing is, how would you know what channel you're on? That's the thing. Also, here's the volume switch to the side. As you can see, it got louder. Let's touch, test the page button. Okay, it works. There is no page button on the handset, as you can clearly see, but it does work. So now, we're going to go ahead and test out the phone here. Testing. 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 One. One. Two. Two. Three. Alright you guys, that should do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of this AT&T 4300 cordless telephone here from 1991. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Sacco Lombardi, Kim Magnum 5 year. Have a great rest of your day. Take care and bye-bye.